What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation in our building an adventure capitalist style idle clicker game using Python and Pygame. And if you missed the first two episodes of the video, we did get to a point where you can click the different tasks. They run at different speeds. We draw everything onto the screen and we give you more money um, as you go through and run at different tasks. So I do recommend checking out the first two if you want to follow along uh, click for click. But if you're just here for the concepts in this video, that's cool too. So let's get right into it. Um, as I said, we have created this uh, game where you can click these five different tasks. They run at different speeds and you get different money per task. That's really cool. But a big piece of the adventure capitalist and like all these idle clicker games is there are buttons where you can buy more of each product or you can buy managers to automate your um, stuff. So that's what we'll do in this video is we'll draw those buttons onto the screen and set up a system where you can kind of advance the game and get progressively more money as, as you go about it. So we already draw a lot on the screen in this draw task. So I'm thinking to draw the buttons on, let's create a new function. You could absolutely like continue modifying the draw task function if you want but you're going to get to a point where you have to pass in like 12 variables and you get like six things back and i think since this is kind of a separate task and separate idea i like the idea of doing it in its own function so let's take a look at it since these are going to be buttons um, in the same way that we called the task above we gave it a name so that we could return it let's just anticipate needing to return both of these and so we'll say color button. So that'll be this will be the first one that lets you buy more of each color. And let's say that's going to be a rectangle pygame.draw.rect just like before. And we're going to put it on the screen and we're going to make it a color. So just like before, we'll want to pass in a color variable. That'll be one of the things we need. And another reason I really like thinking about this in terms of like a function and writing the function first is it points out to you what variables you need to pass in and what you can expect to get back out. So there's no right and wrong way of doing it as long as it works in the end. Um, but I like doing it this way. So we're going to pass in color. And then before we pass, we just need to change a Y coordinate, right? Well, I'm thinking for these, we're just going to change an X coordinate. So we'll make the green buttons all the way on the left of the screen and we'll have the purple buttons all the way on the right and we'll space them out that way. So we're going to pass in an X coordinate, but then for these buttons, for the top row of buttons, I think we'll put them at 340. That should be below all of the tasks. And then we'll just make it 50 wide and 30 tall. So that's a good size button and we'll have to pass in an X coordinate. And that'll be the first button. And then um, let's go ahead and say, we're gonna wanna display on the button how much it costs to buy that. So we'll call that color cost. And I think what that means is we're gonna need to pass in a variable that's cost. So we'll keep track of how many are owned and how, many, um, how much it would cost to buy the next one in the outside world. So we'll pass that in. And we'll do font.render, cause this is gonna be text and we'll do string of the cost. And I think just like before, I'm gonna do this with any text that we display that could be fractional. I'm gonna round it just preemptively so it doesn't give us issues later on. And we'll make this black text because it's going on a colorful button and that'll be a little bit easier to read. And then let's do screen.blit and let's put color cost right on the screen. Spell it right would help and we are going to screen.blit cost and then let's use that x chord again and just scoot it to the right a bit so it's not fighting um, for screen space and then we'll put it just a little bit below the start of the rectangle so it should pretty much be in the middle of the screen here and let's go ahead and say for the manager i think it only makes sense to display a button to let you buy the manager if it's not already purchased so we'll pass in a variable called owned that'll say whether or not you've bought the manager for that color already. And if it hasn't been purchased, that's when we'll display what I'll call the manager button. So we have the color button and the manager button. And essentially everything else will be just like what we had before. So I'll actually copy this, save us a little bit of time. And all we'll really need to do, it'll still be on screen, it'll still be on the color 
um, and it'll be at that same X coordinate. Let's just move it down the screen a little bit. So we'll put it right underneath that first button and then we'll call this manager cost instead of color cost. We'll scoot it in. And actually we should probably call this manager text because I think since we're already using a variable called cost and we have to pass another variable in, we'll want to pass in a uh, manager cost instead of just cost for the manager. All right, so I think I like that. And let's go ahead and pass in manager text. And then just like before 350, we want to move that down a little bit. So we'll put it at 410. And I think that will draw a cost rectangle and a manager rectangle on screen with whatever costs we pass in. So um, you can see right here, I think we need to create three new variables for this function as well for, um, for using these and calling them. But we just know right away too, we're going to return the color button and the manager button. Okay, so doo -doo -doo, I think that'll do it. Let's go ahead and create cost owned and manager cost for everything up in our game variables section. So. Um, this is getting pretty long, the game variables, so I'll make a new one that's draw buttons function. And we're going to have green cost, which I think we'll start out just charging what we'll start out charging what the value of it is. Um, and again, you can mess with this as much as you want. But then to start, none of the managers are going to be owned, so we'll make that false. And then we'll make the green manager cost um, let's make it a hundred you want the manager cost to be significantly more than like just buying one more of each item because uh, it's it's gonna be like a one-time purchase but then once you've bought it like it's running the thing for you so it should be difficult to buy them um, the first time I think so that's why I'll make the managers all like kind of quite a bit more expensive than just buying like the next of each thing. But so, okay, we go green, then we go red, then we go orange. And again, um, once we get into the code of actually like what happens when you click on each of these things and buy them, that's when we'll start playing around with uh, like how to also make it so that it costs more to buy more of the thing as you've purchased 10, 20, 100 of them, it should get more expensive to buy them because you're also going to be upgrading the value of each task. So let's see here. I think we'll go for, for the manager costs. We'll just go one, two, three, four, five to buy the initial one. They'll all be false um, to start because none of the managers will have been purchased. But let's start getting, as you buy the more expensive managers, let's make it really to where like you feel that cost. So we'll say 4,000 and 10,000. And that may seem really high because like to start off, you have to click every button to get every dollar. But try to think like purple manager is the highest thing you can buy in this game that we've created. So you want it to be like an achievement. Okay, so we've created all those variables and we've created our function to draw the buttons, but we haven't actually called drawing the buttons yet so uh, let's see we're gonna be getting color button and manager button back so let's say green color uh, we'll just say green button that's probably easier I'll say green buy and then green manager buy is going to be equal to and we're gonna get that back from draw buttons and then we are gonna give this guy green. We are gonna give him an X coordinate of, do, do, do. let me see what I went with, 50. We are gonna pass in the green value. We are going to pass in draw green. We are going to pass in green length. And we are going to pass in green speed nope that's the task i passed in the wrong things one second we are gonna do green sorry about that i passed in the variables for the task drawing so we're gonna give it green we're gonna give an x coordinate of 10 
and then the variables we just made, which are green cost, green manager cost, and then we are going to give it green owned. So whether or not the manager has been purchased. And before, I think before I copy that five times, let's just run this and make sure the buttons show up where we expect them on the screen. Yeah, so something funky is going on here. Green manager by manager button. Did I not call it manager button? If not owned. Hmm, I don't see a problem with that. Manager button. Uh -oh. Let me see. I, the problem may be that um, the problem may be that if it is owned, then manager button just appears empty. So let's say screen dot black and let's let's call the manager button right here in the beginning so just in case it's not processing this and it's trying to pass it back let's see if that works okay well we get one button so we're close Screen black do, do, do. Let me get rid of this I don't want to tear apart this code I feel like this should do it Turn color button, manager button, manager button's right there, rectangle. I'll get rid of the if not owned until we write the code for purchasing it and we'll take a look then. It may be that there's no way to purchase it today so it doesn't like that. Um, so we'll see. But there we go. The other thing is the manager cost is showing up as zero. But we should be passing in, let me see. Green cost, green manager cost, green owned. I put those in the wrong order, dang it all. So that was our error there. We passed in the wrong variables in the wrong spots. So it this is a really important thing when you write multi, um, multi-variable functions in Python. You have to make sure you pass them in in the right order. So there we go. It's cost owned, then manager cost. Now I'm pretty sure that was the reason we couldn't we couldn't use this because it wasn't a boolean so it wasn't executing properly let's take a look now all right i feel a little bit better about that let's go ahead real quick and copy that in four times for the rest of the buttons and then we will call it a video here and we will take a look at actually finishing things out in the next video so this is going to be red 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 and we want to scoot it to the right by I think 60 so we'll make this 70 this now will be red cost red owned and red manager cost we gotta do that orange I'm gonna go ahead and copy the text that will speed things up a little bit Again, I think I said this in the past videos, um, you can definitely set up for loops. Like if you were to create a, a list of your colors, um, you could definitely write some for loops. That would be pretty slick code that would uh, go through and do some of this code that we do like five times for the five different colors. And you totally could uh, use the same code to do it five times over. Uh, sort of in the same way that we created generic functions to do a lot of this code uh, code like draw buttons and draw the tasks five times you could do the exact same thing um, with all of these lines of code but it does get a little funky like if you want to um, draw a rectangle onto the screen but you need to change the name of that rectangle with every iteration that can get a little weird um, plus this is a really easy way to look at it and just see it all in the same place. So then 190, 250, keep scooting at 60 to the right. Let's see if that draws 10 buttons on the screen for us. So there we go, we see the values, we see the cost of the managers. Um, 
you can play around with spacing. I think I'm going to move the manager text a little bit to the left, actually. So we'll say just X plus two because that 10,000 got cut off a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks better. And let's just real quick, let's throw in one last thing on this video. Let's actually put in text that says like what you're buying there. So let's make uh, some text that I'll call buy more and this will just go above those buttons where you buy stuff and let's say font dot render and then buy more like that and we're gonna do true and white okay and then we're gonna blit that guy and we're gonna put it for location we will put it right above those buttons so 10 3 15 is right about there and let's copy that and let's go ahead and do another one that we can call by managers and instead of by more we will say by managers and then we just need it to go down a little bit so we'll put that at 380 that's a little bit lower down on the screen and let's take a look at that Okay. Oh, well, it still says buy more because I didn't tell it to do by managers. Alrighty, hopefully that fixes that. Buy more, by managers. So the buttons don't do anything yet, but our game is playable. We drew those buttons onto the screen. We did it in a function. So if we do need to modify those or use them in the future, we have one generic function. So hopefully you found this cool. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. And if you have any questions on what you saw today or want to be sure you see something specific in the future, just let me know about it in the comments below. And be on the lookout for the fourth and final piece of making the game where we'll actually make it to where buying more and buying the uh, managers do increase the value of the buttons and automate each task for you. So keep an eye out for that. Check out the rest of the content on the channel. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.